Assassin's Creed Shadows, originally released in November 15th, 2024, has now been delayed, and by quite a big margin too, like four months, I think. Now releasing February 2025. Let's talk about it. If you're excited for Assassin's Creed Shadows or you're disappointed by this news, let me know your thoughts down below. And let's read this remorseful letter from Assassin's Creed themselves over on Twitter. They're talking about how it's a big dream project for them. Finally going over to Fugil Japan. This is an ambitious addition to the franchise, a rich experience that can be lived through the eyes of two unique protagonists but then they say, but we realize we need more time to polish and refine the experience, pushing further some of our key features. As such, we made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14th, 2025. Now, though this is a delay and it does suck, a couple notes that we have to like talk about. First, I gotta respect them for saying that pre-orders will be refunded and all future pre-orders will be granted the first expansion for free. So that, and you know, at least they're respecting the players and saying, hey, we understand this sucks. So for all those that pre-ordered it, we're gonna refund you completely and if you pre-order again in the future and all other future pre-orders will be granted the first entire expansion for free because if you did not know there's two expansions for the season pass i think it is so now if you pre-order in the future and you're going to get it on february 14th 2025 you're now going to get that first expansion for free i mean that's like a nice little like treat it's a nice way to apologize and say hey we're sorry but uh here you go they say we understand this decision will come as disappointing news especially to those who've been waiting patiently for an assassin's creed game inspired by future japan rest assured we are looking forward to the moment you will embark on a memorable adventure with Noe and Yasuke. Until then, we thank you for your ongoing support. Assassin's Creed Shadows. So, I mean, the, I think the biggest note here is, again, they're going to refund you and they're going to reward you if you pre-order it again. They're not delaying it by too crazy long. Like, most of the time, delays are, they might be like a year or sometimes games are even delayed without a future release date. Some games say, oh, we're delayed until further notice. And you're like, oh, well, that doesn't really help out. So, at least we have, an, not only do we have like a spring date, but we have like an exact date, February 14th, 2025. But the second second note that I have to bring up a little bit that I think we're all thinking is this news comes the day after not even 24 hours later after Sucker Punch announces their future Japan game or their future Japan sequel game Ghost of Yote which is the essential sequel to Ghost of Tsushima a phenomenal widely regarded as perfect and or amazing future Japan samurai game so it comes to no surprise that a lot of people see Assassin's Creed Shadows and uh, they just without knowing it compare it to Ghost of Tsushima it's an open world RPG samurai game set in future Japan just like Ghost of Tsushima was. When you see another game like that, it's so hard not to compare the games and with how amazing Ghost of Tsushima was. I'm talking like phenomenal. I've never heard a bad thing about that game or the company that makes it. Let's be honest, Ubisoft doesn't really have an amazing reputation and Assassin's Creed games have kind of been uh, a little bit lackluster in the most recent ones, in my opinion. They've, they, they're great open world games, yes. Are they Assassin's Creed games? That's up for debate. So Assassin's Creed Shadows, again, I'm sure it's going to be an amazing RPG game, open world, set in future Japan, you're a samurai. Again, with all that on the table, it's just hard not to compare it to Ghost of Tsushima. And the day after the developers of Ghost of Tsushima announced their sequel, Ubisoft's like, oh, hey, we're going to delay our game to next year, the same year that Ghost of Yote is coming out. It makes you think, do they really need more time? Or is this one of those things where they're using that for an excuse to maybe push it to next year to compete for a game of the year against uh, Ghost of Yote? Which is very interesting because in my opinion with how amazing Ghost of Tsushima is I guarantee you Ghost of Yote is gonna be phenomenal they're just gonna expand on what they got Ghost of Yote is gonna be built from the ground up for the PS5 with the controversy over Assassin's Creed Shadows with people kind of be having discourse with the developers Ubisoft there's gonna be a lot kind of just around the Assassin's Creed Shadows name and this delay in of itself ah uh, it's hard to say the reason they're actually delaying it if they're trying to compete for game of the year versus Ghost of Yote um I haven't played either game yet but I think Ghost of Yote in Last Assassin's Creed Shadows is just freaking amazing. Unless that's the case, Ghost of Yote is going to take the cake, no problem. Now, I had a friend of mine say, yo, one step, why can't we just enjoy both? Very, very true. Very true. We can absolutely, and I'm going to enjoy both for sure. Because though they're both relatively similar, you know, uh, RPG games, open world, samurais, yada yada, they're going to be very different. Like, they're going to probably play different, have different mechanics, different weapons, different builds, different skill points. They're going to be different games, yes. Like, not every shooter is Call of Duty. Not every Future Japan RPG game is Ghost of Tsushima. So, yes, they will be different, but it is hard not to compare, right? What's the reason they actually delayed it? I don't know. They say they need more time to polish. Tinfoil hat on myself. I think they want to compete with Ghost of Yote. What are the chances, like, 
not even 24 hours later after they announced Ghost of Yote, uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows wants to delay their game. Kind of sus if you ask me. But again, that is just me. So with this delay for Assassin's Creed Shadows, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this delay? Are you excited more for Assassin's Creed Shadows or Ghost of Yote? Keep it civil down in the comments, but again, let me know down below. If you want me to keep you posted on everything RPG-wise and these two games specifically, subscribe here for more. Turn that bell on so you know when we upload and when we go live. Take it one step at a time, and I'll see you in the next one.